Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. It's early. It is 8, it's 8.15. It's not that early. Um, but it's a Tuesday morning. I am up early on my day off because I have an appointment today. I thought that I would just do a little vlog, maybe today, today and tomorrow. I have an eyebrow appointment today, which I'll get into, my first one ever, and then um, a nail appointment tomorrow. Nail appointment was supposed to be today, forgot to make the appointment, they were full, so it is now tomorrow. Um, so it might be a little two-day vlog. My voice is super raspy because I literally just woke up, so don't mind that. But I've been wanting to do a little vlog on this channel for a long time, and I always, I wake up the day of and I put it off and I'm like, I don't feel like it. But today we're gonna do a little vlog. So today, wow, I look super pale. Jeez. Anyway, uh, this morning I have an appointment to get my eyebrows tinted because as you can see, they're super light. I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know the drill. They're super light um, and I hate it. And I kind of just fill them in every day when I do my makeup. But I found out last week that eyebrow tinting is a thing. I knew that microblading was a thing, but that kind of terrifies me because it's literally like tattooing eyebrows on your face and that lasts for years and I know a lot of people have had good experiences with it. I have heard good stories, but I've also heard bad stories and it scares me. So we're just gonna like, you know, ease into it. So I'm gonna get them tinted. I think it lasts for three weeks or something. I'm going to a salon that I found online, never been there before, never even been to this town before that it's in. Um, but we're just gonna see how it goes. I'm excited. And so I think I'm gonna go just like this. It doesn't make sense to put makeup on. She's just gonna take it off, you know, so I'm gonna go just like this. Um, I'm not sure if she is going to, or he, I don't know, I don't know, um, if they will like clean up my eyebrows. I mean, they're pretty, again, like I've never gotten them done, never got them waxed, threaded, nothing. I just kind of clean underneath here and then trim the top on my own. Because, I mean, they barely grow anyway, so there's no point in actually getting them done. Um, so I don't know if they're going to clean or what. They probably will. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to kind of take you guys along for the ride for the day. And probably tomorrow to my nail appointment as well. So anyway, that's enough talking for this intro. So I'm going to go get something to eat downstairs really quickly. And then we will head out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. guys I think I'm here I think uh, oh yep there it is all right so ooh, shaky camera all right so we made it I'm like 15 minutes early I don't even know if they're open yet I think I made one of the first appointments that I could but this is the before I mean you saw me when I was talking to you in my room so this is what they look like before the website says the whole process is gonna take like a half an hour. I'm assuming that it's gotta also sit for maybe like 15, 20 minutes or so. So we'll see. Oh, it looks very legit in there. I see a ring light and everything. Intimidating. But I'm probably gonna head in there in like maybe five minutes, try to go in a little bit early and I'll see you guys when we're done. Well, I look terrifying. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so we're back. Um, so they're definitely darker. I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, I guess if you don't have a lot of hair to work with, then it's not gonna be as dark as I was expecting it to be, but they're noticeably darker. Um, so I'm still gonna be filling them in when I do my makeup every day. So she said that it lasts four to six weeks, which is more than I was expecting. She says it depends on, you know, how much makeup you put on, like what products you use and stuff. So it'll probably be less than six weeks for me just cause I am still gonna be filling them in and using makeup remover on them. 
Um, so we'll see. I'm going to go home now, put on some makeup, film a video for my other channel. So we'll see kind of how that looks once I fill them in a little bit more. I will have to fill them in less, which is good, but definitely we'll still have to fill them in. So, I mean, I'm happy with it. We'll see how it keeps up as the weeks go on, especially with, you know, me putting makeup on every day and such. Sorry, I keep touching them. I don't know why. But I'm going to head home now, put on some makeup, and then I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so it is a few hours later. I put some makeup on. Uh, it's amazing what makeup can do for you. Eyebrows look the same. Literally, they look the same as they always do every day. So not that much of a difference at all, but at least, at least... When I don't have makeup on, they'll look a little darker. It'll look a little more natural. So I guess in the future, like if I really want to go the route of like never have to fill in my eyebrows ever again, then I would have to go the microblading route. Not sure I'm there yet, but maybe one day. Who knows? We'll see. But overall, wasn't a bad experience. It was actually kind of fun. The salon was really nice. The people were really cool. So whatever anyway so i am getting ready to film a video for my main channel and i'm gonna guess 99.9% .9 of you are subscribed to this channel because you are subscribed to my other channel so i thought i'd show you guys maybe a little bit of a behind the scenes sneak peek into what i'm doing today i'm doing a little bit of a different setup i'm in my basement today i never film in my basement so it's gonna take me a few minutes to kind of figure out my setup and how I want it to look and where I'm gonna sit and all that so I figured I would just give you a sneak peek at that so I guess I'll just leave my camera rolling as I get everything ready and I'll leave a little montage for you so enjoy <laughs> So video is done, closing up shop over here. So now I have a decent amount of editing to do. Not too bad though. Um, so I just kind of wanted to conclude the vlog for today, but I'm still gonna vlog a little bit tomorrow, like I said. Um, I'm gonna go meet my sister and her friend. They're coming to a mall sort of in my area within the next hour or so. So I'm just gonna go meet up with them, hang out for a little bit, walk around, nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's part of the vlog, but I will see you guys literally bright and early tomorrow morning. Hey guys, good morning. It is now Wednesday morning. Your girl is running very late as per usual. I should be walking out the door, but I said that I would check in with you guys in the morning. So here we are. It is time to get the nails done. I don't know if you can tell, with French manicure, it's a little harder to see the the growth but it's it's time to get these nails done it's been a month I've had a band-aid on this finger for the past week because this nail is ready to pop off at any second so it's time let me show you the inspiration that I'm going with I'm going in between two things right now I might do something like this and then I don't know if you could tell but these two fingers have like little dots on them I don't know something like that or I really like this you guys let me know how you feel about this but I may let's get that to focus I may keep this for um, when I go on vacation there you go look how cool that is but I may save that for when we go on vacation so um, <laughs> it's spring now and I'm gonna get black nail polish but you know what that's just whatever so I'm gonna head out and I will show you guys what we're looking like when we're done. So, you ready for the grand reveal? This is what they're looking like now. I got like literally the exact same thing as the picture I showed you before. It's the exact same thing. Same design, same colors, and I cut them down way shorter than they were before, and I love it. So next up on the agenda, we are going to my dad's house. I'm going to go meet up with my family, and we're going to be making these calzone things. It's a, an Italian Easter tradition, and I will put a like little montage here just so you can kind of see what they look like and what the process was. It's just kind of to keep the tradition alive, you know? It's a recipe that came from my grandma, 
and I'm super excited. This time last year we weren't really able to celebrate and like gather with too many people around the holidays. I didn't see any family at all except for my mom and my stepdad on Easter so I'm excited to start getting back into the swing of actually celebrating holidays a little bit more with loved ones so that's what I have going on this afternoon and early evening but I will check in with you guys to wrap up this vlog in a few hours so I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, well that is going to conclude this little random vlog of mine. I am sitting doing some editing for the video that you're watching. Here, I'll show you. Alright, so this is what we have going so far. I'm actually almost done, which is good, so. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking in on this channel because I know I don't use it very often, but that's okay. We'll throw them out as a surprise every now and then on this channel. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and I will see you guys next time.